days. I used to save hoes with a mask in a cave. Now I'm like, nah, I love them good, go away. Ain't about to die with no money. I Hi, friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Anthony Costa Hyphen No. And I post videos every single week. Check my record. She's been very consistent. So please make sure you go ahead and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so you can see more amazing videos from me. Mm -hmm. Kind of amazing. As you can tell from the title of today's video, I'm apartment hunting. And I am born and raised in LA. And I want to get out. I want out. My current apartment, if you watch my apartment tour, I've lived in there for two years now, going on three. I think so, going on three. Um, pretty early on into me moving in there, new management company took over. It is not a secret. I want all the smoke with them at all times. Terrible, horrible, never seen anything more ghetto and ratchet in my life. Ooh, ah, the ghetto. Mess. Also, what worked in my unit for me over the last two years doesn't work for me now. I need more space, so I don't have like a real bedroom with a window, like a real functional closet. Like just the space is not doing it for me. I've worked in the property management industry for most of my adult life at this point, so friendly tip, winter time is the absolute best time for you to move. At a slow season, so from like November to maybe March, is kind of the sweet spot. It's gonna be different everywhere, but that's when pricing drops a lot. They usually have a lot of availability. So knowing that and me being on month to month currently, I was like, let me go ahead and be smart and move before summer pricing kicks back in. So I am someone who wants to live in a very specific, I mean, very specific area in LA. When you watch a lot of these apartment tours, they are the really bougie, brand new, floor to ceiling windows, penthouse looking places. And it's in downtown LA. And it's in West Hollywood. And if you're not from here, it looks great. It looks really cute. It gives. And then you look over the balcony and it's like 50 homeless people and it smells like pee. You go downstairs to get your mail, robbed. You go downstairs to pick up your door dash, robbed. You go down to use the pool, stabbed. I'm not playing those games. I live by myself. I'm not, uh, you can't put a price on safety and also cleanliness. I want my air to smell, I don't know, not like pee. So my options are very limited. So I wanted to take you guys with me to go ahead and look at some apartments. I'm realistically looking at maybe three to four places right now. I thought it would be cool to take you guys along with me to see some different sides of LA that maybe not a lot of people have shown in their apartment hunting videos. And also I needed some help deciding. So I wanna hear what you guys think about all these apartments and let me know what I should decide because I am going back and forth on my budget, what I'm looking for, how much space I need since it's just me. So help a girl out and let me know. This first apartment I am actually very familiar with. If you've seen my first apartment tour, you probably can tell I've already lived here. I had my little studio apartment and I also worked here. So yeah, I'm, I'm a little desperate. I'm trying to stay in the area so I'm having to double back, but super open concept like you saw. To the left, you have the bathroom with the combination shower tub, which is a must. As a mature woman, I do love a good bath. I do also like the double door, so the bathroom door leads to the bedroom. You have, I guess we'll call this a foot in closet because you can't really walk in. Maybe you could put like one foot. And then on the left hand side, you have a nice sized walk in closet. Of course, after that, you have the bedroom. Please keep in mind, I did have my phone on 0.5 while recording this, so the space does look a little bit bigger than it actually is, but it was a decent size. And I love, and I mean, I love that there is a balcony off of the bedroom. It's elevated, so I wouldn't feel that concerned about safety. And it overlooks the courtyard, which is really pretty and really quiet. I'm not gonna lie, this unit had a bit of an aroma, a, a must, musty, if you will. And the building overall was just not well kept. The hallways were really beat up and had marks all over them. It didn't smell clean. And for this price, like it's not just a unit, it's the overall building maintenance. So like 2,600, y'all could get some Febreze. So with that, it bumped itself pretty low on my list.
This next building I'm also super familiar with, but they remodeled so it looks so much more clean and modern. So you can see all white finishes in the kitchen with stainless steel appliances. And then you have the open concept floor plan, pretty similar to other apartment places. This is a ground floor unit and it faces the street. My only qualm with this building is the area. In the words of Lil Baby, mmm, mmm, nah. Over to the left hand side you have the storage closet on the right and then there's this cute little desk nook situation. I don't I don't know who would use that but I would try. Um, then you have the bedroom again ground floor facing the street not the move if you live alone. You have this door that someone probably put their head through and then you have a really nice sized walk-in closet. Here I am showing you the lovely toilet that was very important for me to get, clearly. Um, the combination shower tub, you guys already know how I feel about that. The bathroom is massive, uh, massive enough that they put the washer and dryer in here. Uh, they are cousins, not sisters. I'm outside in a MG, right outside. And I tell you guys, this place snatched my soul. Look at it. Just, I love the light wood finish they're doing in newer apartments. You've got the stacked washer and dryer, of course. For this price, it better wash my clothes itself. Then you have similar floor plan in all these places. Nothing too special. But look at this balcony after I fight the door. I could live here. I could live here and be fine. And of course, I mean, for the price of 3600 you have a lovely view of a storage center. Hopefully the person in unit 32A can help me pay these bills. And this was the exact moment here that I broke down in tears and remembered that I am too poor to afford this apartment. Look at how gorgeous. Double sinks. It's just me. I could wake up. And I can wash my face in the left and I can brush my teeth in the right just because I want to. Beautiful faux marble in the tub, combination shower tub. And then here you just have a whole other apartment. Like, ugh, I want her. And this last one I just threw in there so I could talk a little bit, but this building was beautiful. This is the model apartment that they're showing me. It is a small building. They have like a little over 100 units, so that is why it is so expensive all the time. And they have limited availability. I am not spending $3,600 on an apartment for just me, so I wanted to view it so if and when I see something, I can just jump on it and go ahead and apply. But this, of course, top of my list, it's gorgeous. But to end off this video, I just wanted to say, this is BS, let's be real. Rent is so expensive, I don't want anyone to watch these videos and think that this stuff is real life. We should not have to pay this much to have a place to live. So I just wanted to say, please don't watch any of these videos, mine included, and feel like your home is not beautiful, feel like you don't have the newest whatever. It doesn't matter what color your appliances are, it doesn't matter where you live. Having a place, being safe, working towards a place if you don't have one yet is an absolute flex. And no matter what it looks like, every home does the same thing. So keep that in mind. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.